hi guys this is purity welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are making this beautiful poncho using granny stitches this is my mom and she was so so happy with how her poncho looks on her and i hope everyone will enjoy making this poncho so let me show you a close-up of the poncho then we'll get into the work it's a very very easy tutorial and i hope everyone will follow through so let's get started so we are using a 5.5 mm hook that's a 5.5 mm hook and we are using chunky yarn this is seagull in this project i'll use color pink to show you guys how i made the yellow poncho and we're also using a pair of scissors and to begin we are doing a slip knot that's how i do my slip knot and then we will chain 80 so do a slip knot and chain 80 chains so i'm done with my 80 chains and this is how 80 chains look like so we are reattaching the beginning to the end and before you do that make sure your work is straight so straighten up your work and reattach the beginning to the end using a slip stitch so this is how i do my slip stitch So after doing a slip stitch chain three and we are using half double crochets. So make sure your work is straight. It should be round like that. Then we are using half double crochets all through the 80 chains. So this is how we do a half double crochet. So do half double crochets up to your last stitch. We are doing half double crochets all around to the last stitch. That is the 80th stitch. so i'm almost done with my half double crochets let me just zoom in so you guys can see clearly what i'm doing so this is my second last half double crochet and this is my last half double crochet so after you're done with your last half double crochet we will close this up using a slip stitch so do a slip stitch like that then chain two and we are starting to do our granny stitches immediately after the chain two in the first stitch so to do granny stitches we'll do three double crochets in one stitch so we are doing three double crochets in one stitch so we are doing an increase we are starting with an increase so after the three double crochets in one stitch you chain two chains and repeat three double crochets in the same stitch that is an increase it's going to give it shape the v shape so for the first stitch you do six double crochets and that is the first three double crochets then you chain two then you repeat another 
three double crochets. So this is how it looks. Let me zoom in so you can see clearly. That is our first increase. So to do the next granny stitch, you'll skip the first three stitches. So count three stitches. And on the fourth stitch, we will do our second granny stitch. So skip three stitches and the fourth stitch do a granny stitch, which is three double crochets in one stitch so after your three stitches always remember to chain one so after doing the three stitches in one stitch you chain one like that so this is how the work looks and the middle part looks like this the increase part the one that gives it gives it shape like that so always remember to increase on that stitch so let's continue with the granny stitches that's how the two granny stitches look the first one is increased and this one is the normal granny stitch so insert your hook and let's continue with the granny stitches so skip three stitches so one two three and on the fourth stitch we are doing our third granny stitch which is three double crochets in one stitch. So that is the pattern. Remember to skip three stitches. Then on the fourth stitch, we are doing three double crochets in one stitch and you chain one before starting on a new granny stitch. So this is how our stitches look and we are doing nine granny stitches. So these are nine granny stitches plus the increased one will be 10. So do not count the increased granny stitch. So minus the increased granny stitch, we are doing nine granny stitches because we want to do another increase here. So do nine normal granny stitches and the tenth one will increase it so skip four stitches do three granny stitches then chain two do another three granny stitches in the same stitch that will be the increase like the way we did our first increase so this is how our second increase looks like that's the second increase so it will give it the corners you see the corners we have on our poncho the front and back that's how it's created by doing increases on the first stitch and the tenth stitch so there are nine normal granny stitches in between so it will give it the corners that we have on the poncho which is the front and back design so that's how it's done after that remember to chain one and we are doing normal granny stitches which is you scrape three stitches and on the fourth stitch you do three double crochets in one stitch so do that until you get to the first granny stitch which was our fast increase
so we are doing our last granny stitch so count three on the fourth stitch we will do our last granny stitch before we attach the last granny stitch to the first one using a slip stitch so that is our last granny stitch So this is how your work should look. We have nine normal granny stitches on each side and two increased granny stitches at the corners. That makes it 20 granny stitches. So nine normal granny stitches on each side and two increased granny stitches on the corners, which makes it a total of 20 granny stitches. So nine on each and two increased at the corners. So we are reattaching this using a slip knot and we are skipping four stitches. So remember the chain two that we did skip that chain two and add two more chains. And on the fourth chain, reattach using a slip knot, then chain one. It will give it a space in between which will make it easier for us to work through the next round. So we are already at the corner and we are doing our next increase so right now we are working inside spaces so yarn over go in your first space which is the first increase and do a increase which is three half double crochets chain two and then do the next three double crochets So this is how your work should look. Whatever there's an increase, make sure you put another increase. So we are going to the next space. Right now we are working inside spaces. So do a normal granny stitch inside your next space, which is three double crochets in one space. Right now it's going to be easier. There's no counting. It's just working inside spaces. So do that until you get your next increase. And wherever there's an increase, please remember to do an increase. So we are working in spaces. Do normal granny stitches in each space until you get to the space where there's an increase. So I'm winding up on the normal granny stitch on this space. So we do a normal granny stitch, the three double crochets. Then the next granny stitch will be an increase at the corner, meaning we will do an increase like this. So you chain one, yarn over, and then on this space, this is where we'll do our second increase. So 
always remember to do an increase wherever there is a increase so we'll do six double crochets which is the first three double crochets then we chain two then do another three double crochets in the same space then you move to the next normal granny stitches So this is how your poncho should look after we do the increases at both sides. It will give it the shape, the front and back shape. That's why we do the increases to give it this shape. So I'm at the end and now we are not doing slip stitches but we will go into this space here. There's this space in here. This space, that's where we will do our granny stitch. That's a normal granny stitch. Then we will go inside. The next stitch will be an increase. You can just see clearly the next stitch will be an increase. So we do a granny, normal granny stitch here. Then we'll chain one and move to the next stitch, which will be an increase. So that's how our work looks. And immediately we are starting with the increase at the corner. So always remember to chain one before you do. You finish your work and now work on the corner. The corner, remember, we are doing three plus three, two chains in the middle. That is an increase. So chain three double crochets do two chains then chain three in the same space as i said earlier right now we are working on spaces it's much easier so there's no counting it's just working on spaces so this is how your work should look should look neat and simple to follow through now because the spaces are much easier to see there's no more counting so from the increase we do normal granny stitches so that's how we do granny stitches it's an easy tutorial to follow through so do that until you get to the length that you want it to go so for the poncho my mom was wearing the length was 27.5 inches i know you cannot see that clearly but that is 27.5 inches that is minus the neck area and minus the shell stitches which is the aging of this poncho so minus the neck area and minus the aging it's 27.5 inches length and height is 24 inches that is minus the shell edging too so you can do whatever height you want depending on how long you want your poncho so i'm done 
with the height I want. I want a shorter version. This is for a nine-year-old girl. And now we are starting with the edging, which is the shell stitches. After you're done with your final granny stitch, immediately we will start on the shell stitch, which is our edging. So we'll just go to the next stitch that you have and we are doing six double crochets in one stitch go to the next stitch just after your granny stitch and we are doing six double crochets in one stitch So after your shell stitch, I'm just trying to put in my hook, your shell stitch should look like that. That is six double crochets in one stitch. So we skip three and then the on the fourth stitch, we are doing a slip knot. Skip three on the fourth stitch, we are doing a slip knot like that. Then yarn over, count three stitches on the fourth stitch. We will do another shell stitch which is six double crochets in one stitch So after your shell stitch, again, you skip three stitches. On the fourth stitch, you do a slip knot. Then yarn over, skip three. On the fourth one, we do another shell stitch, which is six double crochets in one stitch. So that is the pattern. And we are doing shell stitches and doing slip knots in between all around till you get to where you are. First shell stitch was i hope you understand this So I'm doing my last shell stitch right now. That is my last shell stitch. Then I will cut off my yarn and we move to the neck area. So before we start the neck area, let me show you guys how this stitch looks so beautiful. 
at the bottom of your poncho it looks so so pretty make it it makes it look so nice so this is how the shell stitch is done and this is how it looks so so beautiful and nice so now let's move on to the neck area so reattach your yarn at the neck area which was the beginning of our foundation chain you remember the ch 80 chains at the beginning so that's where you reattach your yarn or you can just put it in where i feel comfortable reattach your yarn and we will use double crochets all around so just do double crochets all round in every stitch so go to the next stitch and do double crochets all round So finish up on your double crochets and I'll meet you at this point at the end. So I'm at the end and we are reattaching this using a slip knot just like that. Then chain two and we are doing the second row of double crochets. So just go to the next stitch after your chain two. And do double crochets again all round. So I went ahead and did six rows of double crochet. Do six rows of double crochet and always remember to use a slip stitch to reattach. This is my last row and I'm attaching it using a slip stitch then cut off my yarn and I will be done with my poncho. So I hope you understand this pattern. It's an easy tutorial to follow through I hope. <laughs> so cut off your yarn and cut off all the loose ends and this is how the six rows look those are six rows of double crochets on the neck area So go ahead and align your work, cut off all the loose yarn, make sure your work is presentable and looks nice. So that's all. Then you're going to fold the neck area. Just like that. And that's how we make this beautiful poncho using the granny stitches double crochet at the neck and um, shell stitches at the edging so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i hope it's an easy tutorial to follow through please remember to subscribe this video give this video a thumbs up if you like it and i'll see you in my next video goodbye